What's up, my name is Jamari G, and today we're doing the Ignite Box and Try Hack Me. Let's get into it. Everything done in today's video will be timestamped in the description bar down below, so definitely skip around if you need to. Let's go ahead and look at this box. So this is of course the Ignite box, pretty cool. It says a new startup has a few issues with their web server. I already got the machine deployed, got the IP address right here. Scrolling down, all we need to do is get the user and the root flag. So it's awesome, pretty straightforward. I like that kind of box. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing, let's create our directory. There we go. Call this Ignite. Boom, there we go. Start the recon off too. All right, both tools I just used will be linked in my description bar down below in my GitHub. They're pretty self-explanatory, really straightforward, just to get the recon process, process automated already. So while this is going in the background, let's go ahead and look at the website, see what's on there. Let's go ahead and look at that. All right, so looking at it right now, we see, all right, so it says, welcome to Fuel CMS version 1.4. Let's go ahead and note that down right now already. Fuel CMS 1.4. All right, bet, bet. Scrolling down a little bit more, it says getting started. Change the Apache. Okay, so it looks like the site isn't configured fully yet. It's kind of like been put up, but it's not fully configured. So there's lots of stuff that we can actually go out there and do, I'm pretty sure. Scrolling down some more, we see install a database. It says install the Fuel CMS database by creating the database in MySQL, then importing it to the location file. After creating the database, change the database configuration file found in Fuel application config database.php. Okay, so that will be noted for later for sure. Configuration file. that right actually there we go perfect 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 all right let's go down some more okay so make the folders right okay yeah none of this stuff really matters just yet all right oh awesome awesome so we got a username and a password let's go ahead and write that down admin admin that's pretty like straightforward honestly I don't know why they even include it on there so it's for fuel let's go ahead and see if we can log in all right we'll give it a second to load up well, while that's loading up in the background let's go ahead and check our recon see what's happening with there all right, so GoBuster is throwing back a lot of errors right now. Let's scroll up a little bit more. So seeing right here, we have for the in-map scan, we have port 80 open, HTTP, obviously. We have a robots.txt page and one entry on there for fuel. We're already there, we already have the log credentials for that, so that's awesome. Scrolling down some more, just some more information about the HTTP site. We don't care about that anymore. The GoBuster scan, it's basically broken right now. I'll let that probably run in the background. Actually, let's go ahead and kill that right now. If need be, I'll come back to the GoBuster scan later, but I don't think we might need that. Let's go ahead and go back to the actual fuel site. All right, so yeah, boom, we did log in. We're not gonna change the password, we'll keep it as is. All right, let's click around a little bit. Pretty pretty straightforward site, pretty straightforward CMS, honestly. Clicking around. We could go through the effort of trying to figure out where to get a reverse shell on the actual fuel CMS site, but since we have a service version, we're gonna go ahead and go with search point and see if we can get an exploit that way. Go ahead and go here, kill that right there. We'll go ahead and go search ploit. There we go. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so we have two possible RCEs. We're just going to use the first one just because it's the first one. So I'm going to go ahead and download that one right there. Search ploit dash m. .py. Perfect, perfect. Got it downloaded. Okay, let's go ahead and open that up with Sublime. All right, boom. Perfect, perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and change this out right here. Change that out. The actual IP address for the machine is 10. Let me go pull back up and try hack me. Pull back up right here, actually. There we go. Change that out right there. Perfect. So basically, what this exploit is doing is the exploit for uh, Fuel CMS 1.4, as we know, obviously. Importing the request is all in Python. So we see down below right here, it's talking about Burp Suite. So we need to open up Burp Suite to use it to intercept as an interception proxy. Go ahead and open up Burp Suite real quick. There we go. Get that open. Give it a second to launch up. Yeah, I am using the community edition. The actual paid version is really expensive. Go ahead and close that. Next on that right there. Start burp. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, so burp will be starting in the background right here. All right, there we go. Make sure intercept proxy is on, turned on. That's perfect right there. All right, so yeah, this and the really nice exploit already written for us. So that's perfect, definitely like that. Let's go ahead and make sure everything's configured right. All right, let's go ahead and go Python 2. Four, there we go. All right, so boom. As we can see in the exploit right here, the shell we're gonna get back, or shell we're gonna get back, is CMD. Yeah, right in here. So that doesn't really mean anything. It's not. It's not gonna mean anything. All we gotta do is put our command into there, and then it's gonna execute and send that command to Burp Suite, as we see in a second. So let's go ahead and get a reverse shell. I looked this up on Pentest Monkey. They have a really good reverse shell site. I'm gonna be using the Bash one. 
go ahead and look at reverse shell real quick. Perfect, perfect, perfect. There we go. Or oh, this is actually the netcat one, my bad. This is actually the netcat reverse shell. Control shift V. As you can see, copied it over. This is my try hack me IP address right here. Got the actual port number that I want to use. Let's go ahead and set the netcat listener up too. There we go. 333. Three, three. Perfect, perfect. Go back over here and press enter. And then boom, Burp Suite just picked it up. So I'm going to press Control F to forward that request on so it can go through. And then go back to our actual reverse shell. And boom, we caught a reverse shell. It's perfect. Let's go ahead and name that. Let's go ahead and get an actual reverse shell now. Actual proper, proper privileged TTY shell. There we go right there. Perfect, perfect. Now we're going to go Control Z, SCT Raw, W Echo, and then FG. And then press Enter. And then ls la and boom now we got a nice little privilege tty shell so let's go ahead and see what's in the home directory real quick ls slash home all right so we got ww data as expected let's go ahead and cd in there and see what they have in there there we go and ls2 all right so flag is in there let's go ahead and get that first flag right there probably gonna be a user flag definitely yep bet 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 got that go ahead and copy and paste that Put that into try hack me right here boom 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 perfect boom that's the user flag right there all right let's go back and see if we can find that root flag enter sudo dash l right here okay we don't have the password ww data so i'm just going to press enter actually i'll press Control c so it doesn't ask me again all right so let's go back to the actual config file that it was talking about on the actual fuel cms site so it was talking about it right here database i'm pretty sure yeah, so it's saying after creating the database, change the database configuration file found in fuel application slash config database.php. So if I'm if I'm mistaken, actually, let's go cd var slash ww slash html and then ls real quick. All right, there we go. Let me see if you guys can see that real quick. Let me go ahead and make that a little bit bigger. There you go. All right, so right here we see fuel. Okay, so bet. So it should be right in there. Let's go ahead and cd into there and see if we can find it actually. We'll probably just cat it out if that's possible. This is a PHP file. Control C, there we go. Cat. Now we're just catting that file out right there. Let's go up here. Fuel, there we go. Alright, bet. Boom. So yeah, that's the root user right there and the root password. So that's pretty straightforward, honestly. Let's go ahead and note that just for later, just in case you have to use it again. Root right here. There we go. And let's go ahead and log in as root as you root password Mimi see if that works boom okay so we got a root shell let's go ahead and cat that root flag right there cat root slash root dot txt type it right actually dot txt boom all right so that should be the root flag let's go ahead and make sure could be encoded in base 64 we don't know let's go it's Boom, okay, that's perfect. Machine finish. This was definitely really good, definitely easy rated machine for sure. It's really self-explanatory. Just kind of follow the process step by step from search point all the way to getting your reverse shell to getting their user flag to getting their root flag. Really straightforward machine. Liked it a lot. Definitely at the easy ranking. And if you like this walkthrough, definitely like it. Subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications. I will be dropping two videos a week. And comment down below what, what I could have done better if there's anything I could have done better. That's all I got for you guys. Hack all the things. Have a good day. Bye bye.